Photo Organizer 8 adds powerful new features to the Stock Photos app. Let's face it, the Stock Photos app in iOS 8 is severely lacking when it comes to simple power user features. Now, just to name one example, there's no way to select a range of photos in the Stock Photos app in iOS 8. So if you wanna select multiple photos, you have to hit the select button and then you have to select each and every photo that you want to select, even if they're you know contiguous, they are adjacent to one another, there's no way to select a range of photos. With Photo Organizer 8, however, it solves this issue. All you do is you tap the select button in the upper right hand corner while you're in an album, and then you use a two finger tap to select the first and last photo that you want to choose in a range. So all you do is just like this. And now I've selected all eight photos at once using a simple two finger tap gesture. It makes it so easy to select a range of photos. And I know that sounds really simple and just kind of obvious, but you can't do that with the stock photo photos app in iOS 8. So this is a great feature. Another feature that I really, really like, or that I really, really miss in the stock photos app is the ability to, sh to sort uh, the photos that are in your album. So, so let me show you how that works. I'm gonna tap select and I'm gonna tap sort by. And now you can see I can sort by file name, file size, creation date, and I can use ascending or descending sorting. So I'm going to sort by file size like that. And you can see the videos at the top obviously are gonna be the largest and the photos as they descend are gonna be the smallest. But watch this, I'm gonna tap sort by again, and now I'm going to do like this, and now we're gonna sort by file size again, but this time it does it ascending. So now it's sorting all the way down, the largest photo is at the bottom, and the smallest is at the top, and the largest obviously being videos and things of that nature. Uh, so those are just two of the really, really cool features that I have are extremely appreciated um, by someone who just wants basic features, basic power user features. I wouldn't even consider these necessarily power user features, uh, but it's so nice to have these features. And not only that, but you can actually rearrange the photos in your album manually. So if you tap select again, and you tap and hold on a particular photo, say this one, and you wanna just move it, well, yeah, you can do that. You don't have to have it sorted in any particular way. You can just rearrange it to your liking. And if you don't want that picture next to that one, you just move it right there. And there are other features like the ability to move photos to a new album, rename the camera roll album. Yeah, you can rename the camera roll. Just tap, tap edit and then tap there, and then you can just give the camera roll a new name. So I'm gonna call mine Pookie. How about that? I'm just gonna call it Pookie. I don't know why, I just felt like it. Uh, so I could do that if I wanna do that. Uh, there's other things that you can do with this. You can rearrange your albums. As you see here, I'll put screenshots up at the top here. And there are other features to be found in Photo Organizer 8, but I just highlighted some of my favorites. I highly recommend this tweak. There are no settings or anything like that to configure, no app icons. Everything's basically just combined or featured in the Stock Photos app itself. Uh, so everything looks native, it doesn't look out of place. Folks, you can do so many things with this tweak. You can move items out of the camera roll without deleting them. You can sort, as we showed you. You can import and sync albums and folders. You can select and deselect all photos in, a, in an album with one tap. I didn't actually show you that, but you can actually select all photos at the same time or deselect all photos at the same time. There's just lots here to, to discover. If you really want to give your photos app a, a power user makeover, then you have to have Photo Organizer 8. That's just that simple. Spend the $3, you'll be happy you did. And let me know what you guys think in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.